What up, players? It's War Boss Tay up in this mud. Today we're gonna be unboxing these guys, Cadian Shock Troopers. They're the de facto go-to army for anyone playing Imperial Guard. Even if you're not playing Imperial Guard and you've seen these guys either uh, running away from something, blown apart, or littered on Wall of Martyr scenery pieces, uh, their corpses and skeletons in their body armor, these poor men, because for some reason Games Workshop doesn't want to do female Imperial Guard models, are um, very recognizable. They're definitely taken, taking cues off of all the old sci-fi military and space movies and artwork, the body armor, the guns, the helmets, um, reminiscent of James Cameron's Aliens movies, Starship Troopers, stuff like that. And depending on how you paint them, that can uh, go a great deal towards that kind of thing as well. So we're gonna take a look at the sprues, take a look at the uh, instructions and build some up. So let's get started. First thing we have are 10 round bases and transfer sheets, which kind of hard to kind of look at because of the fact that they're all in white. They're supposed to go over the painted armor pieces and so they're basically just numbers and symbols. This symbol, for those of you who don't know, is the Gate of Cadia, which is the world where the Imperial Guard uh, Cadian shock troopers are from. You also have, you can kind of see in the reflection there, some other Imperial Guard-like words over here. Let me see if I can tell what they say. Imperius Dominatus, Sepultra Metallica, Mechanicus Deus, Nomine Imperator, Mortis, Ordinatus, Glorium, and Honorum. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what what does it all mean? Mortis. Death. Death. Glory and honor. Glo Glorium honor. Death. Death or honor. Cool. I have the lady boss with me. She's gonna help me unbox and give her uh, unbiased opinion. Her unbiased lady boss opinion on how they how they look and how they build and and everything. And trying to put these guys together. So let's take a look at the. Instructions here kind of shows you how to put together a Vox operator, a normal shock trooper, as well as the sergeant. They don't give much options with this kit. You, I guess you have to purchase the command squad upgrade to get the really, really juicy stuff. But the bits they do give you are enough torsos and legs to build 10 troopers and heads, helmets, and then left arms without the wrist down here, the right arms all clutching the last gun, and extra bits and bobs like these canteens, pouches, charge packs, and grenades up here. Okay, and they also give you the option to build a flamer trooper or a grenade launcher. But if you want a guy with a plasma gun or a melted gun or anything else besides a flamer or a grenade launcher, then you are out of luck. You're gonna have to go bits shopping and find your pieces somewhere else. As for the actual frames, let's take a look at the sprues. You get a couple of, let me see how many you get. You get four sprues in total in the box and you have one, two, three. Okay, yeah, so it looks like you've got, these go together and these go together. So, so um, duplicates of one sprue each. So we'll take a look at the two sprues and just keep in mind that you're gonna have duplicates of them. This first one has a walk, advancing leg, walking leg. So this one looks like they're running. This one's standing, standing, standing and bracing. And um, I guess they're, they're okay. You've got, uh, I mean like I say they're okay because I, I would have preferred to have like a pair of kneeling legs or a pair of legs that look like they were sprinting. This guy just looks like he's trotting forward. Okay, so for accessories or arms, you've got this hand, left hand, or right hand, I'm sorry, holding a frag grenade as if he's about to throw it. Here's your flamer Promethean pack. You've got a loose las gun. Most of the las guns are in hands, but this is a loose one you can use as um, maybe to decorate a base or to put on your scenery or just to put them on your guy. 
Here's a Vox set, or uh, for those of you who are new to 40K, radio is the same thing as Vox. And up here you've got the accessories, and if, when you take a look at these kind of miscellaneous pieces, you've got a knife in a pouch, a canteen, and a laser uh, charge pack. You've got an empty scabbard, which is cool. I like the fact that they have some with the knife in the pack and some without. And yeah, the same things kind of over and over again. Let me take a look at their heads. The heads are all very much the same. Sorry, let me see if I can adjust this camera here. Sorry for the blurriness, you guys. The heads are pretty much all the same. Like the expression, you can't really give them different expressions. There's a guy on the end with the kind of radio or box thing in his mouth. You've got guys with chin straps on, you've got guys with chin straps off, and the helmet's slightly askew, but mostly they all look like kind of grizzled older guys. Um, you don't get the individuality of, say, the command sprue, where you've got a lot of heads with individual haircuts. Some of the heads look like the guys are skinnier or chubbier. These are very much kind of set in what they're supposed to be. These torsos are great if you want to do grot, Imperial Guard grots, uh, or Gretchen. But otherwise, they're basically all the same. You've got just a torso with the body armor with the Imperial Eagle. And here's grenade launcher rounds and a canteen. And extra bits that you get are this helmet, empty helmet, which you can put on a base or have a guy holding or do anything you want with that. The sergeant's head, you can tell he's a sergeant because he's got the little mouthpiece there. Frag grenades, a grenade and a charge pack, frag grenades, frag grenades, and frag grenade at the end with the charge pack. In this one, you've got, let's go from the end here, a lad's pistol for the sergeant. The hand that holds the flamer, so this guy goes with the flamer. Uh, another hand that goes with the flamer. Why would they have two? That's kind of odd. C and E. Let me look at the instructions really quick. C and E. Oh, maybe for the grenade launcher? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like one goes for the grenade launcher and one goes for the flamer. Empty hand up here for uh, possibly the... I don't know what that would be for. One of the one of the guns maybe oh yeah yeah it, it has to be one of the guns because all these guns kind of match up the arms kind of match up so some of them some of the guns are going to be like lying across the chest some of them are going to be aimed up uh the trick is just to match them with the guns that they're going for and hello this is how you do it there if you just zoom back a little bit you actually see that they're all matched up so this arm goes with this gun this arm goes with this flamer the grenade launcher goes with this and the sergeant has a chain sword with a last pistol. On this side, you've got gun and arm, gun and arm, gun and arm, gun and arm. And um, it's different from the Space Marines, where the arms are kind of already attached to the hands, and then you just cut out the weapon and put them in. Because these last guns are supposed to be kind of braced and tucked into the shoulder, the stock is supposed to be tucked into the crook of the elbow. Then you can see that they kind of molded that in so that all you would have to do is glue on the right arm and the left arm to the torso and they should match up pretty evenly. So for the three glue points, for you newer model modelers out there, what you would do is after you glue the torso to the legs, you glue the shoulder and the shoulder, you attach it to the torso and then put a little dab of glue where the wrist on the hand is and connect it to the other arm. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna build them up now and uh, we'll take you through them and then we'll come together at the end of the video with one of the troopers all built up. Hey guys, I'm about to begin my build and uh, the last piece I, well first I cut out all the pieces that we're going to use and I arrange them here. You've got the torso, right arm, left arm, a little kit, miscellaneous kit and legs. The last thing I did was I cut out this head the uh, unfortunate thing is with all these helmets, the mold line is right down the center. 
So when you cut it off with the sprue, you're gonna notice not only are you gonna have a bit of flash on the top of the helmet, but you're also gonna have a nasty mold line running right down the center of it. You wanna be careful that you don't scrape it with the blade edge of your hobby knife. If you have a little sander or a piece of emery board, you might be able to work out that plastic mold line, but this is a really hard one to get at because it's going horizontally right down the middle. Another option could be that you take the edge of your hobby knife and you scrape not down the center uh, vertically but horizontally from front to back rather than from uh, from the side where you just go right up the line down the center like that. Either way it's going to be a little bit of a tricky challenge. You also have the line right down the side of the helmet over there kind of where the ear padding is. Um, so you want to be careful about how you scrape that away as well. And yeah, it's gonna be the most frustrating piece, I think, of this kit, is getting the mold lines on the helmets. All right, let's begin the build. So here we go. There's not really much to say about this build. I put a little bit of glue onto the arm connecting the uh, shoulder to the arm. And then once that got stuck nicely, I stuck the other arm on. Then I glued the torso to the legs. Real simple build. Um, not much to say there. The last thing you want to do is after positioning it, put a little glue at the top and put the head on. And yeah, really easy, really simple. Great to do when you're training out a bunch at the same time. And we're back and here's the Cadian Shock Trooper that I was just building for you. Really cool, really easy. Um, and you're going to be seeing lots of these on the field. Uh, you don't have to put this little accessory piece on the back. It's really there to just hide the seam between the torso and the legs and to give you a little bit something extra to build uh, or to paint after you're done building it. Um, let's see, final thoughts. They're great troop. I, I doubt that Games Workshop will change it in a long time. I think they're gonna go, they're gonna keep this mold and sculpt for a long time just because it's so it's so ubiquitous, it's easy to use. They're a nice sized figure. They're not small like the older models used to be and uh, the older metal models. And even though they're a little bit chunkier than say a Death Corps of Krieg model, you know, the arms, the legs, the, the head, they all look a little bit beefed up and not really as realistically proportioned as a Death Corps of Creek model or some of the other resin models like the Elysian Drop Troopers and stuff. Um, they're still really, they, they look great on the battlefield and you're gonna have a lot of them if you play Imperial Guard or Astra Militarum. So you should have a good time with it. They're also really good because you can convert them very simply using pieces from other companies. So we've got some examples. Here's an official sculpt by Forge World. It's a plasma gunner which you might have seen if you looked at my uh, Cadian Harsh Environment Plasma Gunner conversion kit video. You've also got uh, other companies like Secret Weapon Miniatures who make this awesome gas mask with Santa hat. Ridiculous. Or Puppet Wars who make this Soviet astronaut head um, that you can use for things like uh, Vastroyans. And you can also kit bash these really, really easily, like I did right here to show a plague zombie or a zombie, just using some zombie bits like the head and the arms and uh, some uh, putty there on the arms to kind of do sleeves. You can kind of make your own things. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it and uh, be creative, find different things that you can use your Cadian Shock Troopers for and don't be afraid to experiment. Go out there and find other bits and pieces that might at first seem ridiculous, but uh, in the end should make you, uh, keep you interested in the, in the hobby and in your army and give you something different to look at and paint and build up and really make others in your area um, look twice when they pass by your table. Thanks for watching everybody. Hope you guys enjoyed the video and the continual coverage of Astra Militarum month which we're doing throughout april hopefully and we'll see you in the next video latest players